inevitability of the need for the home to grow to meet the population growth needs of this country. Um, and I uh, absolutely agree very much with the common law sector on the complexity and difficulty of getting to that end point. But at the end, with the needs of 380 million young Pakistanis to be met in 20 to 30 years' time, uh, there needs to be a way to work out how they will come with the purpose of that. Uh, sustainability at that point is key. So, I want to look at my guys to make its number one priority is to do the next one. So, the final picture we decide to decide about is to last. Um, I think what we saw at top, uh, you know, everyone agrees the more needs to do a lot of implementation of wild and that's going to be a leader, I think, on these issues. But one of the most significant things we saw at top of Glasgow was uh, the sign of global capital shifting away from coal. So, building big, dirty coal power stations. To meet the power needs of the country like Pakistan, I think is, is not only a bad for the planet, it's not economically viable for people to be out there ahead. Uh, that's a very important conversation for us to have about how we kind of finance all the services we need to uh, power. And I'm pleased that that conversation is starting. Equally, uh, on India, um, uh, the press release, as I say, I said nothing today that is not a well articulated um, version of my own response. Uh, it is no surprise to anyone that the powers across the world will be less in India. India is going to be 15% uh, of the world's economy at the end of the century. Uh, as a country like India, the European Union is looking for trading partnerships with the Green Party and Scott Friends for India, will be there. My point is that shouldn't be a seesaw of that. It's not just about how they are going to be there. And there's a very difficult question about the stocks of the economy and how you get to that. Uh, need to be able to do this. There's an extent of the variety of sites that came from the World Bank to understand that five years old. So some studies have been done, uh, I like uh, many of the doctors in the work in this area to understand um, the barriers uh, that we need. Okay, are you going to work on the organ at this and the block formation? Yes, sir. In a way, it's the same point I was trying to make on block formation, which is, um, I think, um, that's the room for it very well on, on trying to get out of a, a, a sort of traditional view of which alliance which camp we're in and thinking about these challenges we're all discussing um, uh, in the uh, uh, view of trends we're describing. Um, and so I think uh, I'm actually very much with the problem of progression in trying to avoid um, and putting people in certain blocks or camps, um, multipolarity, plurality. What works for it, uh, but I think we're all seeing plus, um, and therefore um, we try to avoid pushing all the people into the um, binary and capitalize this economic as we're trying to say. Thank you. Ambassador Denise.